Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 2 where we need to defend our jump ship and if you watched the previous episode I was a little startled that we're defending our jump ship. There is a reason for that. The inner sphere has a really big shortage of jump ships so if they're actually going to oh we're destroying the smoke jaguars never mind this is this is clan on clan that makes a lot more sense okay so we are going to be in space near Garstet. as our last stop on the jump to Garstet, we have been intercepted by a smoke jaguar jump ship you'll be you'll have to fight in space on the surface of the jump ship bears legacy your mech will be equipped with engineers jump jets to give you a small constant down thrust simulating a 0.2 g gravity to keep you from floating off Defend the bear's legacy and destroy the smoke jaguar invaders. Radiation from the nearby sun will affect your instruments and satellite view. You will not be able to target all enemy units. Okay, so what do we have for intel on this smoke jaguar carrier? You are very close to this system's sun. It will be affecting your targeting sensors and our audio link. And what? You are very close to this system's sun. It will be affecting your targeting sensors and our audio link. Your neural link, I think he said. Okay. <laughs> What's our details here? After our two sorties on into their territory, the smoke jaguars have finally tracked our jump ship. To allow us to travel through their space unchallenged would be to admit cowardice. The smoke jaguars must challenge our presence in their territory in order to uphold their honor. Clan Smoke Jaguar's weakened state since Takayid has frustrated and angered the warriors of the clan, who are known for their ferocity and bloodlust. They are hungry for battle and will fight furiously to protect their planet. Okay, so we will not be able to target all enemy units. Let's see how this goes. 0.2 G thrust downwards is not very much gravity, but I'm willing to bet that because we don't have jump jets, it's not going to be particularly impactful. So let's get our weapon group set up ASAP. Um, okay, that's interesting. Group 2 is colored differently in space. Hello, Jaguar Carrier. Whoa, okay, there we go. Can we kill the carrier? Oh, hello. Look at you. What are you doing here, bud? Oh my. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Okay. What else do we have? We've got some fighters coming in. I'm not sure we can take them out with our PPCs super effectively. Especially not if our PPCs are hitting an invisible wall. And their weapons are not. So that's, you know, fun. Okay. Let's take out their fighters, if we can, here. Come on. These aerospace fighters gotta go. There are quite a few of them, actually. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe it's just these three. There's a lot of various fighting vehicles around, but some of them are ours. Yeah, I want to kill that fighter. There we go. So where are our friendos? I didn't even check to see if we could have our own friendos in this, did I? But where are they? There they are. Another round of fighters? Okay, that's fine. We'll see about utilizing LRMs on these. Okay, come on. Get an LRM lock on. There we go. Excellent. We're doing some damage to them, but they're doing some damage to us as well. Ow. Ow. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay. I need this guy. Whoa. Are we, um... We appear to have fallen off of something. Okay, that's a little exciting. Okay, so how can we get back up there? Are we stuck? 
I think we might be stuck here, actually. Yeah, I do believe we're stuck. Hmm. How did we even get here? <laughs> I was under the impression I wasn't moving, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, we are under attack from over there, and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, he's moving. That's nice of him. Excellent. Can we kill everything from here? <laughs> I have no idea. Here comes the Jaguar Carrier. I'm gonna keep shooting at it. Might as well see about doing some damage. I don't think we can actually do damage to it. But maybe we can. Hmm. I mean, I'm now incapable of moving through no fault of my own because I accidentally. I'll take it. <laughs> so, um, good thing I was shooting my PPCs at that guy, I guess? That was a little weird, but I fell off a cliff and won the mission. Excellent. We successfully repelled the smoke jaguars from our jump ship. You will now make the next jump to Garstedt. Resume the jump to Garstedt. More information on planet. More information on planet. Okay. After this defeat, the Smoke Jaguars will fight even more savagely on the planet's surface. They're weak, and will probably try to risk as few mechs as possible. We could take advantage of this and use our stronger numbers to subdue the Jaguars, but that's not the clan way. We gain the most honor by taking victory with the smallest force possible. Excellent. Okay, so, what are we going to do on the planet's surface? Upon your descent to Garstedt's surface, Star Colonel Sidney Neverson of the 7th Jaguar Dragoons contacts your commander and arranges that the combat be restricted to a trial of possession for information regarding the whereabouts of the mechs. You're being sent in as part of the reserve troops in case the mech bid is broken by the Jaguars. Stay at your drop site and wait for orders. Okay. The Jaguars have called a trial of possession for info on the mechs. This is it. When we get on planet, give them your all. Or we have to go home empty-handed. Okay, so we can't have any friendos. So I guess we go on in. We just need to sit around and wait for orders, which means I guarantee you the Jaguars will break their mech bid. Because it wouldn't make any sense to have this be a mission where we just stand there for 10 minutes. <laughs> But we'll find out. At least this will give us time to set up our weapon groups for once. That's nice. Okay, so temperature is 22 Celsius. There we go, weapon group set up. And we are now awaiting orders. Let's embiggen our sensors so I can see a little bit better here. And we can hear that there is fighting going on in the trial arena. We can't actually see the fighting. But we do see that there's a Nova down there. That might be the only guy down there. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a Jenner over here. Oh, would you look at that? The Jaguars broke the bid. <laughs> There's a shocker. Well, I'll get in there ASAP. That Marauder isn't going to last long. Oh yeah, he's totally dead. That stone rhino, he's not gonna... I mean, we might win this before we actually even get there. 
I mean, I'm on my way, but it's very slow going. Okay. We do see another enemy on sensors. Not close enough to target it quite yet. It's a Nova? Okay. Not concerned about that. So the question is, will our forces win this before we even get there? <laughs> I suspect they might. What's this other mech that we see? They're kind of trickling in one, be one by one, so our forces aren't going to get overwhelmed anytime soon. We're on our way, though. Enemy mech destroyed. But it's going to take a while. Okay, so that's another stone rhino. It's taken a lot of leg damage already. We're not in LRM range yet. We're getting close, though. Okay, so the Stone Rhino isn't taking much damage, and he took out a friend. Good for him. I'm gonna fire off a pot shot. We'll see if we actually hit. <laughs> I did hit! Look at that! And now he's firing LRMs at us. Excellent. That is quite good. Let's go off this direction in hopes of avoiding some of those LRMs. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of LRMs. Okay. Let's eliminate this stone rhino. Um. Okay. So what caused our death there? Was that just a lucky crit on his part? I think it was. I think that was just a good crit. Okay, let's try it again. This time I'm going to start heading in immediately and see if that if it'll let me just start moving in. Because it takes so long for me to get there. Okay. Let's get our deployment down here. Come on. There we go. So yeah, it takes several minutes for me to walk down this canyon. So I'm, I'm just going to start immediately. With any luck, it won't penalize me for that. Okay. There we go. Excellent. So how did that stone rhino essentially one-shot us there? Enemy mech destroyed. It's a good question, and one to which I do not have the answer. But off we go. I'm hoping that moving this early will not... Well, actually, wait for orders is a tertiary objective. <laughs> so, theoretically... Failing waiting for orders wouldn't uh, wouldn't fail the mission. That's fine. Excellent. So now we're on our way in. We see a stone rhino out there. But now I've got a little bit of a head start on our Jenner friend here. I mean, the Jenner is definitely going to catch up and get there before us. But this way we are at least on our way in. So that's excellent. The stone rhino is not dying, I'm noticing. He is in fact walking straight towards us, which is a wee bit scary. I'd prefer that he not be doing that. Maybe he's targeting the Jenner. But as soon as we get LOS here, I'm totally launching an LRM salvo. Come on. Almost there. It's so far away. Okay, he's getting really close. There's LOS. Nice. Let's see about taking out some of his weapon systems or his legs. Either would be good. Ow. Ow. 
Okay. So we've, uh... This is not going as well as it did before. There we go. Got him down. Now we need to take out this Nova. I'm trying to leg him so that he can't turn towards us. That was an arm. There we go. That's more like it. Excellent. Now we've got this stone rhino. Okay. I want to close in a little bit more here. I think he's not engaging us. That is correct. He is not engaging us right now. And... Let's go. Oh! That time we got the lucky crit. <laughs> I'll take it. Fantastic. Okay, so... We beat the Smoke Jaguar's Trial of Possession, so we now get our information, theoretically, assuming they don't, uh, assuming they don't break that sacred bond. I mean, they've already broken their bachal, so who knows how much honor they've actually got here. But let's take a quick look here. Star Colonel Neverson is noble in defeat. He tells you that the Draconis mechs were stolen from a Jaguar freighter by mechs wearing an altered version of the Clan Wolf insignia. Okay. Prepare to enter wolf territory. They have been badly weakened in the war of refusal, but will still fight fiercely. Okay. So we're going to be going into wolf territory next. The source of Smoke Jaguar's dishonor is now laid bare. They called for a trial of possession because they did not want to admit that Clan Wolf had successfully raided their ship. Again, the weakness of Clan Smoke Jaguar is ev evident. After the recovery of our genetic material, the cons of Clan Ghost Bear may consider a trial of absorption to take over the Smoke Jaguars. Although they have no resources that our clan could exploit, their warriors are fierce and loyal, and would fight well for us. Absorbing them would also expand our territory and remove another clan from the race to Terra. Excellent. So they were wearing an altered version of Clan Wolf insignia, so... Wolf, what are you guys up to? Looks like we are jumping again. What would be the point of Wolf raiding Ghost Bear's genetic legacy? I mean, Ghost Bear is a Crusader clan, right? So, I mean, it kind of makes sense that they're they're at odds with each other. But it's still a little weird. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing wolves would do. Anyway, mercenary mechs are attacking our base on Alshane. Our trinary must return to help protect the planet, defend the base, and destroy all enemy mechs. So we're defending the base, and we're destroying all enemy mechs. That makes sense. Mercenaries are invading Alshane. Repeat, mercenaries are invading Alshane. Okay. So let's check our details here. Mercenaries are the lowest of the Inner Sphere cowards. They fight not for a way of life, but for the highest bidder. This is anathema to the clan way. Since Alexander Kerensky's departure, much of the Inner Sphere has fallen under mercenary control. We must retake Terra and purge this blight on the warrior name. Who has paid for the services of these mercenaries, we know not. You must now protect our base from their vicious, dishonorable attack. If we allow mercs to take over our base, our honor will be sorely tarnished. Especially now, in our time of crisis, we cannot permit this. Well, we don't get any, uh, friendos. I don't think we can change our mech. So, let's go ahead and defend the base. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything could possibly... Oh my, there we go. Everything could possibly go wrong. But it probably won't. We'll find out. 45 Celsius, or negative 45 Celsius? One or the other. I didn't quite catch it. Okay. So we've got an Atlas already taking Gauss Rifle pot shots at us. That's obnoxious. Okay. I'm going to try to hide behind our friendo a little bit here. 
Oh, we've got multiple mechs coming in, actually. We've got an annihilator up over here. Let's focus on that. I don't want to be annihilated. Come on, give me a lock. That's not the button I wanted. Come on, give me a lock. There we go. Fire in some PPCs as well. We've gotten his attention. There's no doubt about that. Come on. Oh, we got him. Excellent. So there's an atlas up here that we'll need to take out. We're taking shots from him, but he's taking shots from us as well. Ow. Two can play at that game, you jerk. Okay. Let's take him out. The old-fashioned way. Please don't. Let's back off a bit. No, back off. There we go. Okay, I guess we're still shutting down. It's fine. We got the Atlas dead. What else do we got? Well, we've got a really long startup sequence. But that's accept that's acceptable. Okay, we've got another Atlas over here. Eliminate him. Oh, that was a failed PPC shot. That was much better. That... He stopped. Okay. Wait, does he have jump jets? That's a little weird. He's not a Highlander. Come on. Okay. Let's eliminate this guy. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That was surprisingly easy, considering it was comprised entirely of 100-ton mechs. But it was, what, only a lance? That's not too bad. Um, okay. That was a little weird, but it it popped back up. We've successfully defended our base from the raiding mercenaries. During questioning, a captured pilot told only that they had been hired by Clan Wolf. I mean, it makes sense that Clan Wolf would hire mercenaries. They've got the whole Wolf's Dragoons thing going on, so... These mercenaries claim to have been hired by Clan Wolf. The wolves are now divided, so we will have to hunt them down. Okay. The captured prisoner admitted that they had been hired by a wolf, but would divulge no further information. This confirms what the Smoke Jaguars revealed after the trial of possession on Garstet. We now know that a wolf faction is behind the theft of our genetic material. Whoever these wolves are, they've, they've sunk to hiring mercenaries to fight their battles. We'll trace them to their den and destroy them like the rabid curs they've become. Indeed. However, it is time to put a cut in here. So, we will have to hunt them like the rabid curs they have become in the next episode. See you all then.